welcome to another video. My name is Irit. I'm a watercolor and mixed media artist based in Austria in Europe. And on my channel, I usually share watercolor and mixed media related content. But today, since I am reorganizing my room and have been doing so in the last weeks, seems like years, I thought it would be a good opportunity to share with you my favorite pieces that work for me in my craft room, art studio, whatever you want to call it, from Ikea. Did I say that? From Ikea. I will put timestamps below so you can skip ahead to any part of the video that you want, but I just want to kind of start with talking a little bit about my feelings for Ikea. Um, I admit I'm a bit ambivalent about Ikea. I don't like it that, you know, I feel like some of the things are low quality and there's a range. I also don't like the fact that everyone ends up having the same kind of furniture. But having said that, I also understand the need to get things relatively quickly and inexpensive. So all in all, we have a lot of things in our home from Ikea. Both my husband and I were students for a very, very long time. And then for years, we also lived on one income and we bought a house uh, after living in a small apartment and we had to like furnish our entire home. And, you know, we just went to Ikea one day and then the rest of the week we were <laughs> assembling the furniture, but we had the possibility of doing that. And we also make a conscious effort to buy secondhand and not, you know, just, you know, bring new things into the world. There is so much. I think if they never made another piece of furniture, there would be enough. Uh, so we make an effort to buy used things we have in our house. Uh, used furniture that we got from other places but sometimes you need specific things and sometimes you don't have the luxury of sitting and searching or it's just not possible to you know carry all these things if you don't want to rent a moving service or something like this so I feel like as much as I would love to sit and say I only want to buy secondhand, um, it just haven't really been possible. And many times I just needed fast, inexpensive, very kind of flexible or customizable storage solutions and IKEA was the place. And today I just want to talk to you about a few pieces starting from kind of larger items to really really small inexpensive ones that have worked for me over the years. I am very messy, uh, very unorganized and my needs have also changed in the last years and so what I'm going to show you is like the very selected few that I feel served me well and kind of grew and changed with me and were able to accommodate uh, my different my changing needs, my ever-changing needs. And so I hope this will kind of help you find items that will work for you. So I'll start with the bigger things and I'll try to like point you in those uh, directions. So this is my beloved Alex drawer unit and you can see it has wheels. And I have wanted this for, I would say years, this one I think costs 100 euros and so it took me years to get it and I'm so glad that I did because this is where all of my watercolor treasures live. I have my paints here. I used to have my palettes here but I decided to move them to a different place. I will show you everything that I've done in my room when it's done which I feel like I'm approaching that point so it's good. Um, but I used to have here my watercolor palettes when I changed palettes more often. Let's see, I can also be in the frame. <laughs> and right now it has uh, papers, like unused papers, like new paper pads. It has some materials or like 
paint finished paintings and other things and it has my watercolor tubes and it holds a lot and it's really nice that it's on wheels you can move it around you can put it under your desk because I think it would uh, fit under most desks and so I think for storing paper and paintings and also supplies this is a wonderful choice it holds a lot and compared to you know I would love to find some more vintage or used uh, architect drawers that are in the similar style and I've looked but it's just it's not easy to find and they tend to be really expensive if it's like something good so while this does cost for me like a large sum um, it's great and I kind of wish I'm struggling with myself because of my um, because I don't want to buy new things uh, so I have been looking for a used one to buy and I'll probably continue to look if I find another one I'll probably buy it because I could use a little bit more uh, paper storage so I love this one they have another one that I'll show you that can stand under your table so instead of your uh, table legs you can put this unit so this one is a little bit taller and I think it's a bit deeper I'm not sure but I'm sure on the IKEA website you can find all the measurements and this is also really really great I've used now it used to be under my kind of crafting filming area with a lot of craft supplies. Now I moved it to my computer area and it mostly has kind of computer related or office, home office related supplies. So you can get from Ikea this long table with one leg underneath like here and then put these on both sides. So I had these two and I just bought the long uh, plate to be kind of my home office area so I love these drawers I've had them for years and years and I really feel they can you know kind of change with you and I really try to kind of move things around the house also according to my family's changing needs and so I gave one of my desks to my daughter and sometimes that is nice about Ikea that you can kind of play around with the different pieces uh, and put them together for different purposes. So I really like the Alex uh, drawer units. Again, it's not like really nice heavy wood, but you can get a lot in them. And I like the, the smaller drawers. It works for me, especially if you have like a lot of smaller things, then you have uh, drawers on the top and it's the same with the other ones that I showed you that are uh, flatter. And then you have on the bottom ones that are a little bit deeper, but they're not uh, super deep, but they are very, very wide or like deep in that way. Um, and so a lot fits into them. And that brings me to the other um, recommendation, which is these like organizers. Now these things, Ikea tend to change these things all the time. So I don't actually know how the one I have here is called, but I'll show you a little bit. So I have this here and you can see it houses my watercolor paint tubes and it has five different compartments. And so I have one for um, the yellows and oranges, one for the pinks, one for purples, neutrals, and blue and greens. And uh, I still have room in this drawer and you can fill it with like these smaller ones also, like these smaller containers, but it'll probably cost you a little bit more. So you have a lot of options to kind of divide and conquer your supplies. And Ikea are really, really good with doing that. And I really like particularly these like large um, organizers and I also have a couple in the other units that I showed you uh, so I highly recommend combining these drawer elements with these little organizers and IKEA is a great place to find those items for very affordable prices 
moving on to da, 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 the Razcog. I probably butchered that. Razcog, Razcog, I don't know. It's the iconic IKEA um, trolleys, which I have to say, I kind of wish I had now a white one. Um, the turquoise one is not that great. Maybe I should just look for a secondhand one. Maybe someone is selling. I have one turquoise and I have one black. And I think with the turquoise, it's fine. But the black doesn't really go with my current new room vibe. I have also a little bit ambivalent feelings about this because my main issue with them is that I feel that anything you put on the second level and the third one is kind of hard to take out and take in. Um, you can also place here like these divided organizers. And so, you see, I have here one that fits nicely. Uh, although I think this particular one is no longer available. So I feel like you kind of have to see if it works for you. For sure the top level is very, very handy. And what I decided to do now is have on the top level uh, all my kind of additional supplies I'll show you that I use daily, so very, very often. I have a spray bottle, I have my kind of more popular brushes, I have my pastels and some pencils and a few other tools and a couple of mediums. So I like this because you can move it around, really customize it, and obviously it can also be used in pretty much any room in your house. So again, you can buy these things and kind of move them around and change their purpose as your needs change. So I like it. Another reason I like it is that you can put on it my next recommendations, which are recommendation, which are these cups. Now, as an artist and a crafter and a mother with creative children, I have a lot of pencils, pens, and markers. And I've tried several different ways of organizing them. I have, for example, I'll show you. I tried also using something like this. It didn't work for me for uh, pens and pencils. I tried also using just like, you know, regular cups, like cute cups. Again, it's not as nice, I feel, as these. First of all, they're very light. They are plastic, which I understand some people don't uh, want to have, and I understand that, but um, they are very, very handy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang like a pole, um, a metal pole on my wall, which I used to have, I mean, I still have it. I took it down to paint the wall behind me and it's a silver color and I want to have probably white or gold um, poles. So I'm going to go to Ikea. The plan is to go um, tomorrow and buy new poles so I can hang at least three rows. I have about 20 of these containers filled with pencils and markers that I use very, very often for myself and with my kids. And I just found this was the easiest way for me to store them and keep them either on the wall hanging and then take down the one that, you know, today my daughter wants to paint with pencils and the next day she wants to sketch with markers. So it's very easy to see everything. It's not hiding in drawers and it's very easy to take it down, put them next to you on the table and then put them back up. So I really, really love these. And as you can see, you can also hang them on your Razcock. For me, anything that allows me to like pile stuff on, I just find myself buried in piles and mess. So but I'm probably going to remove all of these from my Razcock and put what I want and need on the wall um, and just keep the Razcock a little bit cleaner. But again, this is like a super great solution. Also for like, um, if you want to have a cart with all these things, if you have a space, let's say your dining table or your kitchen table, where you also do crafting with your kids, this is a great way of, having something that you can put away like roll it away to some other area when you're done with that and have all the mess and art supplies in one place and just like take it away when you don't want to use it so i really like the feature of these and i think this one is an older ikea version that i had before 
uh, they came out with these nice more sleek modern looking white ones and those they still have it costs in austria one and a half euro for a container so you know you can buy like 20 of them and put a few like um metal sticks poles uh, on your wall or buy a rascock and put a bunch of them on them uh, for a very good price so I highly recommend those. The last item I wanted to talk about is also something I've had for many, many, many years and has served me well. Uh, and it is this paper holder. So I bought this years ago and it was hanging on my wall and it's going to go back on the wall. Uh, originally, I used it for scrapbooking papers and it did work well, although a lot of, you know, I had like single sheets of paper and they would kind of flop. They're very large sheets uh, in scrapbooking. I worked in 30 by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters or 12 inch squares. So they would kind of flop down and with time kind of get a little bit warped. Uh, but it worked really well and especially if you want to store uh, paper pads or paper blocks if you're an artist and you paint on paper you sketch on paper uh, this is a really great solution so what i'll probably do uh, obviously you can kind of stack them i'm going to buy i think another one and just like put it all together on the wall so i can have double the compartments uh, yeah, as I said, I use it to store nowadays watercolor paper blocks or pads and it works really well. Of course, you're limited by the size of this and I think, yeah, the, um, the widest paper you can fit here is 30 centimeters, but um, I, I have a few, I do paint on larger sizes, but I also have a lot of papers that are that size. So for me, it's going to work. Uh, again, this is the kind of thing you can move it to your kid's room. You can use it as like paper holder, newspaper holder, whatever you want. Uh, I saw also on the IKEA website that they actually put this in a drawer like this, like this. Um, yeah, I hanged it on my wall. And as I said, it kind of changed with me as my needs changed from scrapbooking to more art related. And yeah, it's going back on the wall with a friend. <laughs> and so that is it. Those are my top five IKEA storage solutions for artists or crafters or, um, you know, families with creative children. Uh, you can see I have a lot more. I have here the famous Kallax. This used to be called, this kind of series was called Expedit. If you've been an IKEA customer for many, many years. And I have now uh, boxes in it. I will give you a full tour when I'm done. Either in July or after the summer. So we'll see. I'm doing my best to kind of finish it. But um, yeah, I just find IKEA is a great place if you want to fast inexpensive customizable um, pieces and storage solutions or organization solutions I should say so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, let me know in the comments which are your favorite IKEA pieces for your craft room or art studio I would love to know I'm going tomorrow to Ikea, so help me out if you have any ideas on what I could fit. Oh, I did see that they have now pegboards, and I did think about uh, using those for my wall here. But what I don't like about that idea is that I have to then rebuy all of the cups, and yeah, I have to buy again all the cups, and I have like 20 of these white cups that I showed you before, and I just, as much as I like the idea of using them, I just... I don't want to throw away what I have and I don't think I have a better, I have a, a different purpose for these. So I think for now I'll stick with what I have and just buy the a new uh, metal uh, poles I can hang them on. Um, that is it. I wish you a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week with a new video. Take care. Bye bye.